So now, ladies and gentlemen, the next one is, Colin, you still have not moved away from That's OK. I just want you to get, we're going to do some teaching, then you can go back over there and we'll do some work. Um, so now what we're going to do is, now you guys see we have an equation that's not set equal to 0. So the first and main important thing we need to do is make sure it's set equal to 0 when we're going to be solving uh, when we have more than 1x. So the first thing I'll do is subtract an x on both sides. So I have 3x squared minus x equals 4. Then I subtract a 4. Now I have 3x squared minus <coughs> x minus 4 equals to 0. And again, ladies and gentlemen, when we're factoring, it's very important to have everything set equal to 0 so that we can apply the 0 product property. All right? Yes? I'm getting all of the numbers on the left side oh. and leaving, and therefore when I do that, 0 is left on the right side. OK? Now, because in the previous example, I already had it set equal to 0, right? And some other examples, I might say this equals y. So we just replace y with 0. We always want to set, when we're factoring, we want to make sure it's set equal to 0. All right, so now, again, we cannot factor out using a GCF. So again, we're going to go back to our AC method. Okay. Now, though, we have a is not 1. So we need to make sure we multiply a times c. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. <clears throat> and then our b is negative 1. Make sure when you do not see a physical number there that you understand that it's negative 1. All right. So now, again, we need to determine what two numbers multiply to give us negative 12 and add to give us negative 1. Again, if you do not know them in your head, write them out. 12 can be 12 times 1, 6 times 2, 4 times 3. And again, they need to multiply to give you a negative number, right? So that means one of them has to be negative. And if they add to give you a negative number, then the larger or the smaller should be negative? The larger factor or the smaller factor? Larger. Larger factor, you're going to want to be negative. Well, just think about it. Negative 4 plus 3, what does that give you? Negative 1, right? If it was 4 plus negative 3, that would give you positive 1, right? So kind of the same situation we were in last problem. So my answers here are negative 4 and, neg and positive 3. Where would you get confused? OK. So is that my phone? Okay. So now what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to rewrite this 3x squared. Why? Just Why? wait. Okay. Now, unlike the last problem, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot use these as our two factors. Because if you were to do this, if you were to say, oh, why can't it be x minus 4 times x plus 3? Because, guys, if you were to multiply this out, just think about it. x times x, you're supposed to get 3x squared. x times x gives us x squared. Negative 4 times 3 is supposed to give us negative 4. That gives us negative 12. So this is not, when a is equal to 1, you can use those as your factors. But a does not equal 1 in this case. So what I did. What I did is I took my two values and I rewrote them. Now, what I want you guys to see is look at, at negative 4x plus 3x. Do you guys see how that adds up to give us x? Yeah. Yes. Or that adds to give us negative x. Yes. Basically, all I did was I took my two values, I gave them x's, so that what I could do is I basically rewrote my problem. Now, there's two different ways we can solve it from here. The first way is to think of this as an area and to create a box. And if you think of this as an area, because basically what factoring is is taking an area and then factoring out the terms. Okay, So if I put the area, now if I put each of these terms inside these boxes, <coughs> basically what you guys can do, yes? That's OK. That that's fine. Problem? Nope, that's fine. The only thing you'd have to be cognizant of or aware of 
is remember when you're fa basically what factoring you're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is you are determining the side lengths. You're basically saying, here's the area. What two numbers are multiplied to give me that area? So what two terms multiply to give you 3x squared? At 1x and 3x, right? Now the important thing is, is I wouldn't want to put a 3x here and an x because 3x times what gives you negative 4? It's going to be a fraction, right? So you, so you just want to be aware of what are the other boxes. So therefore, I'd write it as 3x times x. Because 3x times what gives you 3x? So go that way. OK. 3x times what? x times what gives you 3x? I'm sorry, 3x plus times 1. And then x times what gives you negative 4x? Four, negative 4. Negative 4. x times negative 4 gives you negative 4x. 3x times 1 gives you 3x. 3x times x gives you 3x squared. And negative 4 times 1 gives you negative 4. Yeah. Therefore, I can write 3x minus 4 times x plus 1 equals 0. That's one way. Okay. The other way you guys can do this is you can simply just group them, the first two terms and the last two terms, and then say, what do they have in common? So what do these two have in common? An x. So guess what? Factor out an x. So if you factor out an x, you're left with 3x minus 4. And then these two, they don't really have anything in common. So you can always factor out a positive 1. And when I factor out a positive 1, I'm left with 3x minus 4 equals 0. Now. If you guys look at these, now what do they have in common? What do they have in common? What expression do they have in common? What do both of these terms have in common? 3x minus 1. 3x minus 1. So you factor that out, and you're left with an x plus 1. x plus 1. Oh, 3x minus 4, sorry. All right, now we're still not done with the problem. Because again, we haven't solved for x. So again, to solve for x, ladies and gentlemen, what we simply need to do is apply the zero product property. We need to set both of them equal to 0. Now, do I need to do you guys want me to show you how to solve for 0, or can I just tell you what the answers are when you solve for 0? Yeah, solve for x, I'm sorry. Hold on. This just got so, so x equals 4 thirds, and x equals negative 1. That's where I'm